ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. You've clicked on the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, December the 15th. I'm ABC 3340 meteorologist Brian Peters with you for this edition. And let's get right to it. How about radar? Look at all that rain amassing to the north, northwest, and west of central Alabama. Looks like we're going to see some rain, and it looks like probably this afternoon from, say, about, uh, oh, I don't know, 1 to 3 p.m. on into the evening hours ending after midnight. Here's a quick look at the sky cam at Chiha. Of course, it's cloudy, and the temperature's, uh, oh, fairly mild. There's a look at Demopolis on the river. The river looking rather calm, but with a solid overcast. And there's a shot from Birmingham looking over the city down there with uh, a good cloud deck overhead. There's the culprit at the surface. We see a surface low in southeast Texas, pretty much as we've been forecasting for the last several days. And in the upper pattern, here's the 500 millibar pattern overlaid on the water vapor imagery. And there you can see a good plume of Pacific moisture coming across Mexico and up into the lower Mississippi uh, River Valley with that nice trough coming across western Texas. And that is the culprit. Temperature-wise, it is mild still across the southeastern U.S., but that gradient, that change in temperature is very, very close. Notice that you only have to get up into northern Kentucky for things to get freezing. Across the area, a little closer look, uh, temperatures fairly varied across the area, 46 uh, at Tuscaloosa, 45 at Gadsden, 52 at Birmingham, so it's uh, very very well good variability today qpf wise here is the uh this is the five day forecast but most of that is coming in day one and unfortunately it looks like we're going to be missed by a double barrel shot of over three inch amounts uh, one centered over tallahassee and one centered up in western kentucky but that doesn't mean we won't get wet it's just we're not going to get as much rain as we'd like to get and with the deficit that we have of nearly two feet, we certainly could use it. Severe weather-wise, uh, we're seeing a good deal of moisture and uh, warmth pooling in the Gulf. And there looks like there's a possibility of severe weather along the Louisiana Gulf Coast. And then also from northwest Florida up into the coastal area of South Carolina. Here's the low track, and just as we've been saying, uh, it, uh, it initially looked like it might be a little further to the south back several days ago, but it looks like that's going to be a little further to the north. The result is for snow, looks like uh, just a, a little bit north of the main Ohio River Valley across places like uh, St. Louis and uh, just uh, along and south of Chicago and up into the Buffalo area and over into Boston. And here is the... Uh, probability for uh, day two with uh, a good blizzard ending up occurring up there. And, of course, lots of watches and warnings in effect right now uh, with a lot of uh, wind advisories over the south part of the United States. Let's get to the GFS. We've got a lot to deal with. Uh, here is the surface pattern for today at midday, and you can see the broad low-pressure area centered over oh, uh, about Jackson or so. That low moves very quickly, and as James describes it, bombs out as it heads up into New England. And with that, we see the 540 line coming back around that as the cold air wraps around that surface low. And the 540 line gets down to, oh, somewhere in the vicinity of Decatur, it looks like. So we'll see the precipitation end fairly quickly tonight. And I suspect by the time we see daybreak tomorrow, most of the precipitation will be over. Some of that may be switching over to some snow showers or some uh, snow flurries, but not a great deal. Our, surf, our uh, upper air pattern goes on out quickly, and we seem to get into a rather tranquil flow, but don't be lulled here. That's a ra rather quick surface pattern. Large high settles in over our area, but look at that real strong low up over the Canadian Maritimes up there. The low moves on out, the high uh, moves on to the east, moisture begins returning, and then we have a short wave coming across the Four Corners area uh, with not too much to worry about on Wednesday, perhaps some showers off to our west. But then that trough reaches us on Thursday, and with that shortwave trough, we see some chances for some precipitation on Thursday. The big news, though, is that big trough coming in on the West Coast behind the little one. 
And here's Friday. We're more or less under a ridge, so it looks like Friday's going to be a good day. Saturday, probably a good day as we warm up, but notice how strong the GFS is painting this trough now. And with that, another low-pressure system forms in the southern Rockies, but is going to be a little further north. But notice all that cold air coming down, way down into West Texas. On uh, Sunday, the trough moves across the Ohio and Tennessee River Valleys and drags a front. And notice this, the 540 line down to, oh, it looks like about Helena. How about that? Down into Shelby County. So this is getting on and verging on voodoo land, but we've got to watch this carefully because it could be an interesting weather situation. And we don't get out of the woods very quickly. Here's Christmas Eve, and notice what's coming. We've got another trough coming across Texas, and then by Christmas Day, look where it is. And now we're in voodoo, folks. We're in voodoo country, so don't put your hopes on this. But look at this, a Gulf low, a cold core system, uh-oh, Cold core system, weatherman's woes, and uh, low in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico. And the 850 temperature, look at that. The 850 zero degree line comes all the way down from, oh, about Scottsboro down to, uh, oh, it looks like maybe about Grove Hill north of Mobile. We get into a ridge on the 27th, but it's short-lived. Notice the, the closeness of the two troughs there. And then the second one begins to amplify as it heads a little further eastward. And the result is another low latitude low. And by the 30th at the end of the period, and again, we're in voodoo land here. We've got a strong trough in the central U.S. And with that, a uh, lots of precipitation. Now, the lots of precipitation I'm in favor of, but boy, looks like some interesting winter weather situations for us out in voodoo country. So, as I say fairly frequently, stay tuned. We appreciate you tuning into the uh, Weather Extreme video from ABC 3340. Hope that you have a great weekend. We'll be back with another one tomorrow morning around 8 o'clock. You have a great weekend. God bless.